hi have you ever wondered how that great good cup of coffee that you drink in the coffee shop is made my name is esther ocheno i run a barista school called barista pro where we teach top-notch barista uh, professional baristas on how to make a good cup of coffee and this is how we do it story My journey in coffee started 19 years ago when I was employed uh, at Dormans. Uh, that's where I started uh, my journey with coffee. And uh, I was employed in the sales and marketing department and we needed to train uh, the clients in the hospitality industry on how to get good coffee. So we were trained there, uh, my knowledge about coffee and also my barista skills, that's where we learned because we needed to help the, our clients in the hospitality industry brew that coffee correctly so that we are able to, to move the coffee. From these trainings uh, from Dormans, I, I saw there was a big gap uh, because the coffee culture was becoming vibrant in Kenya. Uh, coffee shops were opening left, right and center and there was a big gap. There was no place where people can get professionally trained baristas. So since I was already a certified uh, professional barista and trainer, I just uh, decided to start a barista school where we can be training professional barista and now supply the coffee shops with professionally trained baristas. From my experience, I've come to realize that Kenyans don't drink coffee because they don't know much about coffee and they are yearning to to understand coffee so uh, for example they they don't know how uh, different a dark roast is from a medium roast and one of the big differences is the acidity in coffee so if you're somebody who doesn't like very uh, acidic coffee then you should go for a dark roast uh, if you like acidity in your coffee you should go for a medium roast they also don't uh, know the kind of grind sizes to use for the different uh, equipment because grind size changes depending on the equipment you're using so Kenyans, a lot of Kenyans have coffee brewing equipment in their uh, homes but they are not using them because they don't know how to use them and they also don't know which grind size to go with which uh, equipment so that's uh, uh, another thing I've come to to realize and there's also something about convenience like we are drinking a lot of instant coffee freshly brewed coffee is more superior to instant coffee but the reason why Kenyans are drinking instant coffee is because of the convenience of making it yeah but there are other methods that you know are quick to make using freshly brewed coffee so those are some of the some of the things that I've seen Kenyans struggling with and they would really like to find out more about it so that they can be able to brew coffee at home or even in their offices and uh, what most people don't know is uh, that instant coffee, because people usually ask, so if instant coffee is uh, not as superior as freshly brewed coffee, why is it expensive? What people don't know is that in Kenya, we don't have an in instant processing plant. So our own coffee gets exported to a different country to be uh, processed into instant, then we have to import it back. And when you're importing it back, there are those, you know, uh, taxes that uh, are charged. That's why 
instant coffee gets to become more expensive than freshly brewed coffee despite the fact that the freshly brewed coffee is usually of a higher quality than instant so that that process of exporting bringing it back that's why instant tends to be more expensive and for that then we need to to just make sure that we start getting to know about coffee so that we drink our own coffee so that the local co uh, consumption can sustain yeah our coffee industry when i opened the school uh, one thing that uh, was driving me is uh, my passion for youth because baristas most baristas are between the age of 18 to 24. so when i saw the impact that this training was having on the youth because after the training they had now knowledge and the skills to be able to help them to get jobs in the coffee shops so that's what drove me to keep going and um, what motivates me is just to see the students that we are churning out get jobs after the training our courses are very comprehensive so our course content covers from coffee knowledge tree to cup yeah because a good barista must have proper knowledge of coffee the product before they start brewing it then from the coffee knowledge now we go to the skills so we teach them how to extract espresso shots how to texture milk how to draw latte art and also how to make uh, filter based coffees using different equipment customer service and we also do mentorship which is uh, a unique aspect that we have that helps baristas get ready for for jobs and have proper work ethics we have uh, several courses depending on uh, the level that uh, a student uh, wants to be at so we have a basic barista course this is just an introduction to understanding the coffee brewing equipment and being able to understand how the basic drinks are being made and this course goes for five days for twenty thousand shillings and uh, the, all the classes are on part-time basis yeah so students can choose the morning class afternoon class or evening classes we also have advanced barista course which is also a five-day course and this targets uh, students who've already done the basic course or you have uh, experience already but you've never attended any class you, you just have on the job experience but want to come back in a class setup so that you understand more and also get certification so those are the people we are targeting for advanced course which is 26,000 shillings we also have a professional course now professional course is our our best selling course because it's for beginners who want to actually work in a coffee shop as professional baristas and this course is one month uh, and it goes for 50,000 shillings then we also have a special class for coffee enthusiasts because we've had coffee lovers uh, you know asking us do you have a, just a short class uh, that we can get to learn about coffee uh, we love coffee we like drinking coffee but we don't know much about it so we started a session called coffee curious which we do for coffee enthusiasts coffee lovers who want to understand coffee better and this one we usually do it on saturdays uh, just for three hours and we get to teach them you know the different kinds of coffees in terms of why uh, a dark roast is different from a medium roast why kenyan coffee does not this, uh, taste the same as uh, probably colombian coffee just to give them some coffee knowledge that they can use yeah to actually you know brew their own coffee at home or in the office and get to appreciate coffee more our training is also adding value in a way that we've been able to influence the whole value chain to improve their quality how now uh, an educated barista will always educate the consumer now an educated consumer who knows uh, about their coffee will challenge the coffee shop to produce good quality coffee now this has a ripple effect in that the coffee shop owners will also challenge the roasters yeah to make sure that the roasted coffee is of good quality the roasters will make sure that they are buying good green coffee beans so i've come to realize that we are now helping with the quality improvement throughout the, the value chain. And once uh, the farmer gets it right, the millers get it right, the roasters get it right, and the baristas get it right, then now the consumers start drinking more coffee. So it has had a direct impact on coffee consumption in that now we have seen coffee consumption increase. So as much as the journey has been good, but throughout the years we've had... Uh, 
an increased number of students yeah now the numbers of students have increased in such a way that now we don't have a, a place now to send the students because uh, our our classes are on monthly basis so now we've had a point where we have so many students we are churning out so many students and we don't know where to to take them what we've done as barista pro to at least sort out that challenge is that we have also started a coffee shop we've also started a coffee shop and we hope to open more so that now we can be able to uh, get our own students working in our own uh, coffee shops as interns so that they just get some work experience apart from uh, starting our own coffee shops where we can at least accommodate uh, most of our students we are also trying to help them think as entrepreneurs where we are encouraging them to start their own uh, coffee kiosks where they can be able to apply their skills and their knowledge just to uh, get some money and be self-employed because you don't really have to be employed you can also be self-employed so that's something that we are also uh, mentoring them on so that they can now start thinking as uh, entrepreneurs themselves and be self-employed so for somebody who wants to get into barista training uh, as a business I would advise uh, that you start from uh, a student first because that's that, that's the progression actually because you need to understand coffee first for you to love it before you actually start training on it as a as a business so I would advise first uh, come learn about coffee get some experience in the coffee industry maybe in a coffee shop or as a roaster or as a coffee tester then if you feel that uh, you are very passionate about uh, about this then you can now start uh, uh, a training and it can be a training on uh, barista skills it can be on coffee roasting it can also be on coffee testing because you'll find that uh, others run these different modules as a course so there's a barista course, there's a, a roasting uh, course, there's a coffee tasting course. So the progression can be anything. It doesn't have to be barista training. You can actually progress to other, other courses like uh, roasting courses, coffee tasting courses. But you have to start from uh, just learning uh, about, about coffee. As Barista Pro uh, vision going forward or part of our strategy going forward is uh, to open other barista schools outside of Nairobi because uh, this is a very new thing and the demand is growing as I've mentioned and uh, now we have students from Mombasa from Kisumu from Edloret asking us do you have a barista school in this place so one of the things that we want to do is branch out of Nairobi that's one thing the other thing is uh, roast our own coffee and have our own uh, roasted uh, coffee selling uh, retail we also want to branch out uh, to other African countries because Kenya is way, way ahead when it comes to the barista culture, the coffee drinking culture, the coffee shop culture than other African countries and uh, start, uh, you know, barista training. That was my story running a barista school where we teach top-notch professional baristas on how to make good coffee. What is your agri-business story? Share it.